All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to crop. Let's begin by right-clicking our sequence in the project panel and going to Sequence Settings. In here, change the frame size to your liking. I'm going to set mine to 1080 by 1080, which will create a square aspect ratio for social media. Okay, and there my frame size has changed, and my resolution will be set to it when I export. Now let's go over to the Effects tab and type Auto Reframe into the search box. Drag the Auto Reframe effect onto your clip, and it will automatically keep your subject in the frame with the help of keyframes created by AI. But let's say you have a few clips on your timeline and you want to auto frame the whole sequence. To do this, simply right click your sequence in the project panel and select auto reframe sequence. Change the aspect ratio to what you'd like. I'm going to keep mine at square and click create. All right, now this will create a new sequence with all auto frame clips. To demonstrate how to crop manually instead, I'm going to get rid of these extra clips and the auto frame effect, but keep the edited sequences frame size. Now either use the Move tool to reposition the part of the video you'd like to crop in the frame, or change the clip's position in Effect Controls. This works fine, but there's an even easier way to manually crop a single clip. To do that, I'm going to undo all this and go back to my clip with its original resolution. Make sure the Timeline panel is selected and use the Ctrl M keyboard shortcut to open up the export window. In the upper left corner, go over to the Source tab, then click the Crop tool just below it. Drag the handles to crop your video to your liking. Hover over the crop video to see its resolution, which you'll need in a moment. Under Basic Video Settings, uncheck Width and Height, and click this link toggle to turn off the scaled aspect ratio. Change the width and height to the resolution you got from hovering over your crop video. Now when you export this, the output will be cropped as you see in the preview with your entered resolution. The final way to crop is if you want to do a video in video type effect. For this, I'll crop this top clip on my timeline and this bottom clip. Alright, let's go over to the effects panel and type crop into the search box. Drag the crop effect onto your top clip. Now make sure your top video clip is selected and go over to effect controls. Under crop, drag the left, right, top, and bottom values to crop out the part of the video you want. Now go up to Position and drag the Position's values to change where the crop video is in the frame. Alright, and those are a few of the best ways to crop video in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and see you next time.